In this video, we'll be learning how to find the area of trapezoids. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral or four-sided figure with exactly one pair of parallel sides or sides that would never touch if we were to extend them. You can see in the four trapezoids that are pictured below that each pair of parallel sides is indicated by the red arrows that are drawn in. The formula for area of a trapezoid is A equals one-half times the sum of its two bases, base 1 and base 2, times its height. Please make note on your note sheet that the little 1 and the little 2 are not exponents. You can think of the little 1 and the little 2 as telling you the difference between the bases. Base 1 you can think of as the short base, and base 2 you can think of as the long base. So the little 1 and the little 2 are not numbers that will be involved in your calculations. Please also make note on your note sheet that to identify the bases of any trapezoid, you simply look for the sides that are parallel. Again, the bases in any trapezoid are the two sides that are parallel to each other. So for example, in this top trapezoid here, the bases would be the top side and the bottom side because they're parallel. So the bottom, the shorter one, would be base 1, and the top, the longer one, would be base 2. In this trapezoid off to the far right, the two bases would be the sides on the left and the right. Base 1 would be this one here, the shorter one, and base 2 would be the one on the right, the longer one. Let's find the area of this trapezoid. First, we write the formula for area of a trapezoid. A equals 1 half times the sum of the two bases, base 1 and base 2, times the height. Next, we have to identify what the bases are and what the height is in order to substitute those into our equation. So I look for the two parallel sides of my trapezoid in order to identify the bases. That would be the top side, which is 10 inches long, and the bottom, which is 16 inches long. Those are my two bases because they are parallel to each other. 10 inches is going to be base 1, the short base. 16 inches is going to be base 2, the long base. My height is going to be found just as it was found before. It has to be perpendicular to the two bases. So in this trapezoid, the height is 4 inches. Now we can substitute in our values. A equals 1 half times the sum of 10 and 16 times 4. Next, we evaluate making sure to follow order of operations. So we have A equals 1 half times 10 plus 16 is 26 times 4. Notice how I added 10 and 16 first because that's inside parentheses. I'm following order of operations. Next, I would multiply from left to right. I have all multiplication. So half of 26 is 13, and 13 times 4 is 52. So my area of the yellow trapezoid is 52 square inches. Please note that sometimes the formula for area of a trapezoid is written like this. A equals 1 half times the height times the sum of the two bases. This formula will evaluate to the exact same answer, 52 square inches, as the version of the formula that we used. The only difference is that in the red one, you're multiplying a half times the height first and then times the sum of the two bases versus in the black one, you're multiplying a half times the sum of the two bases times the height. So it's just a difference in the order that you're multiplying the two quantities in. Still results in the same answer. So you can use either version of the formula. Let's do one more example. 
To find the area of the trapezoid pictured here, again we'll start by writing the formula for area of a trapezoid. This time I'll write it the second way that I showed you. So a equals 1 half times the height times the sum of the two bases, base 1 and base 2. Next we need to identify what the bases are and what our height is. So looking at this trapezoid, my two parallel sides would be the left side and the right side. So 3 feet and 6 feet. So base 1, the shorter base, is going to be 3 feet. And base 2, the longer base, is going to be 6 feet. These two sides are my bases because they're running parallel to each other. If you turn your head to the left, this might look like a more familiar version of a trapezoid to you. Next, the height is going to have to be perpendicular to the two bases. So in this trapezoid, that would be the side that's four feet long. That's our height. So now we can substitute in our values into the formula for area. So we have A equals one half times the height is four times the sum of the two bases. That's going to be three and six. Step three, we evaluate, making sure to follow order of operations. So a equals one half times four times the sum of three and six is nine. Again, make sure you're following order of operations, which is why we added three and six first. And then area equals half of four is two, and two times nine is 18. So the area of this trapezoid is 18 square feet. This is also called a right trapezoid because it has two right angles. Here's a summary of what we've learned in this video. First, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Second, the formula for area of a trapezoid is A equals 1 half times the sum of the two bases times the height. Or you may see it written, as a equals one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. Third, the bases in a trapezoid are the two sides that run parallel to each other. And finally, the height of a trapezoid is always perpendicular to its bases. Thank you for watching this video, and here's a picture of pizza for all of your hard work.